Is there a link between myth and history? Are some of our favorite mythological tales inspired by events? This has always been a tantalizing question. And sometimes you do find a connection. Take the case of Kashmir. Kashmir is known for its stunning beauty. But did you know that this valley, as it's often referred to, is actually the bed of a lake? Today with Google Maps, you can zoom in on Kashmir and get a view of this. The snow-capped slopes of the Sanskar and Pir Panjal ranges surround a semicircular, flat, bowl-like land that was actually the bed of a massive lake more than 12,000 years ago. Interestingly, echoes of this story are reflected in the old tales and stories of Kashmir. For example, in the origin myth of Kashmir, that both the Nilmad and the Rajtarangani narrate, where the land, the valley, is actually said to emerge from the desiccation of a primordial lake that is none other than Sati Saras. According to the Puranic tales, Kashmir was once a great lake inhabited by a demon named Jalodbhava. It was sage Kashyapa who evoked the Varaha or Bor Avatar of Lord Vishnu to breach the mountains and drain out the lake, defeating the demon. As the lake drained out, River Jhelum, Kashmir's lifeline, emerged at Verinag and this helped people to settle on the ancient lake bed. The name Kashmir comes from the Sanskrit word Kashmira, meaning the land desiccated from water or Kashyap's Mir, or lake. While the first reference to the tale comes from an ancient text from the 8th century CE, the Nilamat Purana, the story may have been much, much older. Could it be an oral tale that was passed on from the earliest settlers in Kashmir, thousands of years ago as they saw the Great Lake drain? Interestingly, today geologists have found that tectonic changes in the Himalayas could have caused this. Millions of years ago, Kashmir underwent significant geological transformation, which caused substantial changes to the region's topography. The melting waters from the elevated ranges became trapped in the Kashmir Valley, resulting in the formation of an expansive lake. However, around 12,000 years ago, tectonic shifts breached the Zanskar and Pir Panjal ranges, due to which the lake began draining. This gave rise to the Jhelum River, originating near Anantnag. As the river carved through the higher terrain, the lake gradually receded, revealing its ancient bed. The exposed, sediment-rich surface, known as Karevas, created a fertile foundation for agriculture. Approximately 5,000 years ago, early settlers were enticed by this fertile land Purzahom, near Srinagar, stands as an exceptional Neolithic site dating back to 3000 BCE when humans began practicing rudimentary agriculture and employing finer tools. The geography of Kashmir helped shape its history. As the water of the lake drained out, it left a fertile plain that could be accessed through passes that had emerged in the surrounding mountains. Over time, this allowed Kashmir, especially the southern part, which is near the start of the Jhelum, to become part of major trade networks. In totality, if we see that South Kashmir it was very important because you have a couple of you know, uh, earliest foundations of uh, Kashmiri towns were laid within this particular uh, you know, area. Uh, for example, you have nearby, you know, uh, route going which connects from Pahalgam to Sonamarg and then, you know, it uh, uh, reached to, out to Ladakh and then to Central Asia. And on this route, there are a number of sites. And then you have almost four or five sites which are very important sites uh, in this area. As I said earlier, Samthan is there, Hutmar is there, Kutbal is there. These are one of the important establishments which were, you know, during the Kushan period and in the later period also. It is because of how it was placed that Kashmir always was a centre of trade and fine products made of wool and wood. The craftsmanship of the region is famous even today. Archaeological sites littered along the Jhelum River give us a sense of what Kashmir was like over the centuries past. 
Here, geography has shaped history, integrated the region with the world, and ensured that the fine products made here reach the farthest markets. It is fascinating to see how geography shaped the history of Kashmir and how old, old memories linger on in the form of mythological tales.